Welcome back to the beginning. Welcome to Genesis. And, you know, whether it's by Zoom or in person at Chapel Rock or um, in your own home or wherever you are that you're, you're tuning in here, we're just so excited to start uh, together this fall. Uh, we're all going to learn through this powerful first book of the Bible who God is and that he's our father, he's our creator, he's the sustainer for us uh, throughout all of our Christian walk and lives. And he's worthy. He's worthy of our time, he's worthy of our efforts in serving him and seeking him. You know, as we look at Genesis, we're going to learn that the created can recognize their creator through creation. Uh, these first couple of weeks will be rich as we deeply look at how carefully God created uh, everything around us, everything. He's the author of everything in nature. And every time I go out for a prayer walk, um, I, I see the marvelous gift of color. Uh, I lift my eyes and I see each different type of tree delights me and the sound of the birds and uh, just even the deer eating my myrtle uh, and my um, all my plants that I've planted but it's a delight to recognize that he has designed it all for uh, our benefit for us to enjoy and he created us as the highest pinnacle of his creation so that we would be made in his image and reflect his image to others. And we are created also with a God-shaped vacuum within us that can only be filled by God himself. And, uh, and uh, yes, we try and fill ourselves with everything under the sun, um, every idol that there is out there, and there are many, many today but we can only be soul satisfied in him, in God alone. And so he's going to teach us that through this holy book of Genesis this year. So let's open our Bibles today. Uh, let, let's take notes. It's time to grow in the wisdom and stature and in favor with both God and man. So why don't I begin us first with prayer. Father, I just thank you that you have provided your holy word, protected it, and you want us to learn and then live the principles within it. You want us to know you in order that we can love you and then serve you. Oh, Father, what a privilege it is to call you Father. And Lord, right at the beginning, we're, we're going to see that you're Father, Son, and Holy Spirit just in the next couple of weeks, we'll watch you work in harmony in a time and a season of our culture. We need to, to learn to be uh, in unity and love as believers because that's how we'll, they know that we're believers. It's by our love for one another. So teach us, Lord. Help us in our groups to be unified in love. And uh, Father, we welcome you to our lives as we study and draw near to you through this marvelous book of Genesis. It's in Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. You're gonna enjoy this lecture. Bye-bye. <laughs>